Hi, I'm Wally Tyner, and I'm a professor of agricultural economics at Purdue University. We have some new and interesting research on the practical economics of solar energy for farm businesses and homeowners that I'd like to share with you. Recently, there's been an expansion in the use of renewable energy all over the place, including right here in Indiana. We have a lot of room to grow as currently 95% of our electricity is produced by coal. One way we can reduce the amount of coal being burned is by increasing the use of solar photovoltaic energy, commonly known as solar PV energy. In smaller scale places such as residential areas and farm businesses, under certain conditions, solar can be installed by individual consumers or businesses and can be more profitable than electricity from the grid. One reason solar can be attractive today is that there's a 30% tax credit available to people who install solar equipment. So if you spend $20,000 on a solar system, you get a deduction on next year's taxes of $6,000. Now that's not a deduction from income, that's an actual tax credit. If you're a business, you can also deduct depreciation of the solar equipment from your taxable income each year. For a business, the combination of the solar tax credit and the depreciation deduction are very powerful incentives, rendering solar quite attractive economically. If you're the owner of a farm business, you stand to gain a lot from going out and installing solar systems right now because you have a 92% chance of getting your electricity far cheaper than you would from the grid. One of the other things that can make solar more profitable is net metering. Net metering is a benefit of installing solar PV systems because it allows you to sell any excess energy the systems produce right back to the electricity grid. If the current policy change to provide the same benefits that grid electricity is given to both farm businesses and homeowners, then both parties would have an equally high chance of getting cheaper electricity, 84% to be precise. Depreciation is not currently allowed for homeowners, but that could change in the future. With the benefits farm businesses receive from solar, it also becomes very practical for nonprofit rural electric cooperatives to partner with for-profit businesses as far as electricity is concerned. This would increase the use of solar tremendously. With the expanded use of solar, we can not only benefit economically, but also increase the production and consumption of cleaner, more sustainable energy for an all-around cleaner and better world. In fact, our research also shows that if a carbon tax were imposed on grid electricity to put solar and grid on the same level playing field, then solar becomes economical both for businesses and homes, even without the federal tax credit. For more information on solar PV energy, visit edustore.purdue.edu or simply search solar. It's a free download. You can also find the direct link below. Thanks for watching.